Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the cosmic ocean, exploring the weird, the wonderful, and the downright bizarre objects that call the universe home. Get ready to have your mind blown wide open as we count down the top 10 most bizarre objects in the universe. Fasten your seatbelt, space cadets, because things are about to get seriously cosmic. Our first stop takes us 5,000 light years away to the constellation Centaurus, home to the Boomerang Nebula, the coldest known object in the universe. Now, you might think a black hole would be colder, right? But black holes, with all their matter-eating madness, actually emit radiation as hot as the sun. The Boomerang Nebula, on the other hand, clocks in at a frigid one degree Kelvin. That's colder than the cosmic microwave background radiation, the leftover heat from the Big Bang itself. So, what makes this nebula a cosmic refrigerator? It's all about expansion. See, the Boomerang Nebula is a planetary nebula formed when a dying star sheds its outer layers into space. This rapid expansion is causing the nebula's temperature to plummet, much like how a refrigerator uses expanding gas to cool things down. Next up, we're talking bling, cosmic bling. Imagine a planet twice the size of Earth, made almost entirely of pure, crystallized carbon. Sound like something out of a science fiction movie? Well, meet 55 Cancri E, also known as the Diamond Planet. This dazzling world orbits a sun-like star called 55 Cancri, located about 40 light years away from us in the constellation Cancer. But here's the Catch 55 Cancri E whips around its star at an incredible speed, completing an orbit in just 18 hours. Now you might be wondering, how do we know this planet is made of diamond? Well, astronomers were able to measure both the planet's size and its mass, and by combining that information they could calculate its density, which turned out to be much higher than your average rocky planet. Our cosmic journey now takes us to the Eagle Nebula, a vast star-forming region located about 6,500 light-years away in the constellation Serpens. Here, amidst swirling clouds of gas and dust, lies one of the most iconic images ever captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, the Pillars of Creation. These towering columns of interstellar gas and dust, stretching light years high, are literally star nurseries. Inside these dense clouds, gravity is hard at work, pulling together clumps of gas and dust, causing them to collapse and heat up. Over millions of years, these clumps grow denser and hotter, eventually igniting nuclear fusion in their cores and giving birth to brand new stars. The Pillars of Creation offer us a breathtaking glimpse into the dynamic and awe-inspiring process of star formation. Hold on tight as we venture to the outer reaches of our solar system, to a region so distant and mysterious that it makes Pluto look like our next door neighbor. I'm talking about the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical shell of icy objects thought to surround our solar system like a giant cosmic bubble. This hypothetical cloud, named after astronomer Jan Oort, is believed to be the source of long period comets, those icy wanderers that grace our skies every few centuries. But here's the thing, We've never actually observed the Oort cloud directly. Why? Well, it's incredibly faint and incredibly far away. Despite its elusive nature, the Oort cloud plays a crucial role in our understanding of the solar system's formation and evolution. Our next cosmic puzzle takes us deep into intergalactic space, to a mysterious gravitational anomaly that's tugging at our galaxy and countless others. I'm talking about the Great Attractor, a region of space located about 250 million light-years away in the direction of the constellations Centaurus and Hydra. Astronomers first discovered the Great Attractor in the 1970s, when they noticed that our Milky Way galaxy, along with hundreds of thousands of other galaxies, is moving towards a particular point in space at an unusually high speed. It's like we're all being pulled by some invisible cosmic magnet. But here's the catch. We can't actually see what's causing this gravitational pull. Despite decades of observations and research, the true nature of the Great Attractor remains a mystery. Hold on tight as we dive into a cosmic mystery that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the universe, the dark flow. Imagine a river of galaxies flowing through space at incredible speeds, defying the known laws of physics. That's the perplexing phenomenon that astronomers stumbled upon in 2009. 
By studying the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, scientists noticed something peculiar. Hundreds of galaxy clusters, stretching across billions of light years, appear to be moving in the same direction, towards a specific region of space located far beyond our cosmic horizon. This unexpected motion, dubbed the dark flow, can't be explained by our current understanding of the universe. Prepare to have your mind blown by the sheer power of the magnetar, a type of neutron star with a magnetic field so strong it makes your average refrigerator magnet look like a speck of dust. Imagine a magnetic field so intense that it could distort the very fabric of space-time, ripping apart atoms and warping light itself. Magnetars are born from the explosive deaths of massive stars, when the star's core collapses under its own gravity, forming a super-dense object just a few miles across. But unlike ordinary neutron stars, magnetars are thought to possess ultra-strong magnetic fields, trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. These magnetic fields are so powerful that they can trigger starquakes, massive eruptions on the surface of the magnetar that release enormous amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays and X-rays. Fasten your seatbelts as we travel billions of years back in time to witness the raw power of the quasar, the brightest objects in the universe. Imagine a celestial engine, billions of times more massive than our sun, blasting out more energy than entire galaxies. That's the sheer scale of a quasar. The name quasar is short for quasi-stellar radio source, and these cosmic powerhouses are thought to be powered by supermassive black holes lurking at the hearts of distant galaxies. As gas and dust spiral into the black hole's insatiable maw, they heat up to millions of degrees, releasing an unimaginable torrent of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. Quasars shine so brightly that they can be seen from across the observable universe, acting like cosmic lighthouses that illuminate the early universe. Our next cosmic oddity takes us on a lonely journey through the vast emptiness of interstellar space, where we encounter the rogue planet, a celestial wanderer adrift in the cosmic void. Imagine a planet, perhaps once part of a solar system like our own, now cast out into the darkness, eternally searching for a gravitational anchor. Rogue planets, also known as interstellar planets or orphan planets, are planets that don't orbit a star. They drift through the galaxy as solitary objects shrouded in darkness and silence. Astronomers believe that rogue planets could form in one of two ways. One possibility is that they form in the same way as stars, from the collapse of a cloud of gas and dust. Our final stop takes us to the edge of theoretical physics, where we confront the mind-bending concept of the Blitzar, a hypothetical type of black hole that, according to our current understanding of physics, shouldn't even exist. Imagine a black hole that spins so fast it literally tears itself apart, releasing a burst of energy that can be detected across the universe. The Blitzar is a theoretical consequence of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicts that a rapidly rotating object can lose angular momentum by emitting gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time. Now, for normal objects, this effect is negligible. But for a black hole spinning at near the speed of light, the loss of angular momentum through gravitational waves could be significant enough to overcome the black hole's own gravity, causing it to unravel and explode in a spectacular burst of energy. From the frigid depths of the Boomerang Nebula to the mind-bending physics of the Blitzer, we've journeyed to the far reaches of the universe, uncovering some of the most bizarre and awe-inspiring objects that call the cosmos home. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, full of wonders that continue to challenge our understanding and ignite our imaginations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating space content.